Hi everybody, Christy Nix with Soulful Aligned Entrepreneur and I wanted to share with you a story of a client of mine to kind of relate what we can do for you here at Soulful Aligned. Um, I work with high achieving women entrepreneurs who have discovered that there's something in their business they can't seem to make work. A lot of the times they are not attracting the right clients consistently or they feel like they can't hire the right staff, they're constantly having turnover, um, and also they could easily have their business feels like it's consuming their life to where they don't have any life really at all. And that's the whole reason why you went into business to begin with, right? To transform lives and to have a life. <laughs> so here at Soulful Aligned, uh, we really help you figure out what it is that's not working in your business, why it's not working for you, even though you've had a lot of coaching and training and all sorts of workshops and everything else you could get your hands on to consume, but for some reason, it's just not working. So I wanted to share a little story with you today, a prime example of how just tweaking your business just a little bit can actually shift how you do business and how it comes to you, giving you the life and the freedom you're really after to begin with. So I had a client, when I first started um, doing my coaching, I had a client come to me who was a mom and was an insurance agent. Her name is Lisa. And Lisa came to me very charismatic, very bubbly. She felt like a little cheerleader. Um, and she was just really charismatic. Whenever we went to networking meetings together, she was always the one everybody wanted to talk to. And she always seemed to connect with everybody. And she seemed to know something about everybody. It was amazing, her uh, retention of, of information. So she came to me for help because she felt like while the networking meetings and all of the organizations that she belonged to um, was really fun and that all the people she connected with on Facebook and in LinkedIn was really great, she just couldn't seem to break the ceiling of her income. She just felt like she was really just kind of limited and kind of at her wit's end with exactly what to do because her company, um, New York Life, was telling her quite specifically this is how we market. This week do cold calls, we do warm calls, we do networking, we do relationship building, and all that other stuff um, that most, you know, you, you think of when you think of insurance, insurance agents, it's all in who you know. But she wanted to be in front of a lot of people. She wanted to be on stage. She had given workshops, she had talked, given talks, um, she had written a book about, um, uh, something in her private life that she had published. And so she was used to getting the word out, but she wanted to reach the masses. How can she do that? Because that would definitely change her income. And while, and if we put her on stage, what would, you know, how would they get caught in the back, you know, to set up the appointments and to really connect with her later? So we had to kind of figure out a few things. And what came to us to try is to her to put together a talk and actually focus and refine her target audience to be very specific, something she could directly relate to, and to fill rooms with those people, talk to them directly, appeal to their needs and wants for their family, for their life, and then have a girlfriend in the back catching them going out the door saying, hey, if you want a free co uh, consult, sign up here. Here's the calendar. You know, here's information. Really kind of catching them in the back because Lisa couldn't be in front and catch them in the back. So we put it together to where we set it up. We didn't, <laughs> I don't know if she asked permission from the insurance company to actually do it this way. I think she felt really pulled to do it. So she went and did it. And what's amazing is that within, she had six talks within six weeks between all the little cities that were connected right here. We're in Texas. So Texas just feels like a giant, you know, country of its own. And so she had friends in Dallas. She had friends in Houston. And that's where she went in Austin. That's where she went to talk, to give her talks. So there was some driving involved. However, in six weeks, she made three times what she had made in the last year in six weeks. And what's great is that the, the appointments were still scheduled out. So she had more and more income coming in. And so what we went through and did is then we structured it so that once a quarter, she would go to, to one city and talk maybe three times and then move to another city, talk three times and then move to another city. And so every few months she would be gone talking for a little bit. 
right? A couple of days or something, not too much from her family. And she came back to me just glowing. She's like, I feel so great because I feel like I'm contacting, connecting with a lot of people. I have my best girlfriend who's also in the insurance company who's getting a cut from everything that she brings in, catching him in the back, totally knowledgeable, totally loves being that conversational person in the back. And they are really changing lives with how they are approaching the insurance company, the insurance industry. And so she ended up being um, asked by her insurance company to come and give a talk, a training on how to do this for people who wanted to be on stage. I thought that was amazing. And then she told me she was just beside herself crying one day. And I'm like, what's going on? She goes, I just booked our first vacation that we have had in six years. She's like, I am just so excited to be able to share this with my family. And it's all because we just tweaked her business a little bit. We played to her strengths, figured out exactly who she was, how she worked, and what she was really meant to be doing. Put that into play in her business instead of forcing her her to fit her business dynamic. We did it inside out, from inside out. So changed her life. And even now she's thriving and teaching within her company exactly how to reach massive audience, their particular audience from the stage. So for a charismatic, someone who's very gung ho and lights up, you know, that person who just lights up the room when they come in, their energy is totally attractive, like a moth to a flame. That kind of person would really do well on stage. And so that's my story for you today. So if you have any questions or would love to talk to you, answer anything that you have going on. If maybe being on stage isn't what you're being called to do, maybe it's something else like conversations or videos or uh, being able to, to connect with people in a different way. And you want to know how to tweak your business to actually fit and give you the life you really want. Let's chat. Feel free to hop over to the website, soulfulalignedbiz.com, and I'd be happy to chat. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.